on the eastern shore of Sicily, that's the island that Italy's boot seems to be kicking, Ephesus on the western shore of what was then Asia. These two cities, 600 miles apart, are engaged in a trade war. Aguian is from Syracuse. You can tell he's from Syracuse by the S on his hat. He's not really wearing an S on his hat. That would be a dead giveaway. That's just there so that you guys have some hope of following the plot. He is arrested and brought before the Duke. In Syracuse was I born and wed unto a woman. With her I lived in joy. Our wealth increased by prosperous voyages I often made to Epidamnum. Epidamnum is on the western shore of Greece, roughly halfway between Syracuse and Ephesus, at least as the crow flies. During one of those voyages, Aegean's wife becomes great with child and follows her husband to Epidamnum, where she, amid the pleasing punishment that women bear, gives birth to twin boys. There had she not been long, but she became a joyful mother of two goodly sons, the one so like the other, as could not be distinguished but by names. Yes, those two baby sons were so much alike that they could not be distinguished but by name. So, what did Gian do? As if being a twin did not come with enough identity issues all by itself, he gave them both the same name. Again, conveniently neglects to mention that name here, largely because doing so would have destroyed the plot, but we later discover that name is Antipholus. 